Yo, what is up guys, it's your boy SirRidgeD and welcome to another tutorial in your, in, whoa, <laughs> in this tutorial we're going to be creating a very simple Discord bot and I'll show you the basics to creating your first Discord bot. Uh, maybe I'll make a second episode where I go more in depth into some di more difficult things that you can add into into your bot for today, which is going to be doing really simple things and what you do with those simple things is up to you. And the first thing you're going to have to do is actually get the API. And by do, to do this, you're going to have to go into your search bar on Windows and type in CMD, which is your command prompt. And you're going to do pip install and discord. For me, it's going to say that it's already uh, installed because that is the truth. I already have it installed on my computer, but your one will look a bit different to that. But it should say that, um, that it's downloaded. And if you get an error, then that's probably an error with your pip and not this uh uh, with the Discord uh, pip thing, uh, you actually have to go on the internet and check if you actually have the right version of Python installed. I'll be using Python 3.7. Okay, so now you're going to go onto the Discord developers uh, website, and to get there, you can just type in Discord dev or type in that link. I'll try and get the link into my description if I don't forget. I hope I don't forget. It should be in the description. And you're going to go here. It's going to ask you to log in. Once you've logged in and done whatever they tell you to do, like tick, I'm not a robot, and things like that, you're going to go to applications and you're going to click new application you're going to call this whatever you want so let's just say um bot yes J just as a random thing we're going to create this button it's going to be called bot yes and you're going to get all this stuff there's going to be a client id and stuff but you're going to go to bot now here you're going to add add bot and yes do it and your bot will now be created and your token that we will be using later is going to be here but that's uh that's for later and you also can change the name and give the bot certain permissions. Usually I recommend just giving it administrator because that means it can do anything it wants. And that's kind of what you want your bot to do, being able to execute commands without having you, with you, without you having to go onto the website and changing everything they can do. Next, you're gonna click on O of two. And here you're gonna click on bot right here. And here you're gonna get a link to add your bot to your Discord server. So if you go into Discord, which I have open here, you're gonna either create a new new bot, a uh, new Discord, or if you already have one, then you can skip this. But to create one, you just go down here and you click create new server, create new server, and you enter the name, and that's it. And that's what I've done here. I just created a server called test server. And now to get it onto here, we're gonna copy this link. We're just gonna paste it into here. And we're gonna add it to the server that we want it to add. And we're gonna choose test server, and we're gonna authorize that app. Not a robot, obviously, at least I think I'm not. Then we're gonna close that window, we no longer need it. And if we go into Discord, as you can see, the bot is now here, but as you can see, it's offline. And that's because this bot doesn't have any code and nor is it being executed. So this is where we hop into um, our Python. So we're gonna open up a new Python window uh, on any Python thing you, you use. I'm gonna quickly configure my idle so you guys can see it. Um, I'm using the default Python uh, development thing. I don't really use use the other ones. I like the the basic one. Um, yeah, I usually use just the basic one. I'm just gonna click apply and okay. I'm just gonna have to open up another window on my other monitor. Okay, and now while we're here, the first things you're gonna have to do is just click import, right import Discord. And on your second line, you're gonna go from discord.ext import commands you're going to save that and for for me i'm going to click f5 to execute my code and if you don't get any errors and it finishes that means uh, you've installed uh, discord correctly and now we're going to get into actually creating the bot oh i turned it off let me get it on again it's right here all right now we're going to actually create the bot so we're going to write client equals commands dot bot bot spelt with a capital letter and then opening and closing brackets and inside that command underscore prefix equals and then here you're going to write the prefix that you want your bot to use for, for when you're entering a command I recommend you use an explanation mark it can be comma it can be whatever you really want it to be I'm just going to explanation mark for the simplicity and now at the very bottom you're going to write client dot run run and opening and closing brackets and your thing, uh, your string, uh, string thing, things, whatever you, you want to use there to create a string. You can use, uh, you can use these as well, but I recommend using these. And you're now going to go back into Discord here, uh, not Discord, back onto the Discord development website. And now you're going to go into bot and you're going to click reveal token and you're going to copy this. 
This is something you don't really want to be sharing with the whole world like I am. But obviously I'm not going to be using this bot. This is just a test bot. But make sure to keep the secret key because this actually connects your Python code to Discord. So if someone gets this, they can manipulate your bot. So now we're going to create uh, our first commands. But before you can make commands, you have to make a command that is never executed by uh, you. It's executed by the code itself. Oh, sticky keys. Forgot those are on. We're going to do at client dot event and then enter and then async define or def on ready and then open and close an explanation mark uh, question brackets well wow. English on point today and we're just gonna print in here bot online this will tell us uh, in the idle shell that or whatever execution thing you're using if you're using PyCharm or you're using some scripts whatever it will show you that the bot is now connected to the discord server so we're going to do await client dot change underscore presence and then open and close in brackets activity equals discord dot capital A uh, activity hopefully I spelled all of that right open and close in bracket name and then I believe this is uh, the name of the bot I believe I think this is the name of the bot actually no I think this is the name of the discord server so for me I'm just gonna write test server I'm sorry for not knowing this and then you're gonna do comma for me, I'm just going to write enter so I can keep it a bit neater. And e type equals A capital again in activity, T capital and type dot playing. And that's what it should look like. And if we click F5 or whatever your key is to connect, we're just going to wait and we get an error because I spelled activity right. Uh, act activity incorrectly, didn't I? Let me just copy what I wrote here. In my other monitor make sure you spell everything correctly mm, that's quite helpful <laughs> and we're just going to change this to test server and that should be correct now um, valid syntax where do I have a valid syntax there we go and if we run this as you can see the bot is online and now if we go on to discord you can see that the bot is now also online here Oh yeah, now I remember. Now whatever you write in here is kind of like what game the bot will be playing. So as you can see, it's saying that it's playing test server. But you can change that to anything you want. You can change it to playing Minecraft. No one really minds. I guess you write what you want. You what what you want to write. Okay, so now that we have this base this ready, which basically on ready is actually a command created by this Discord uh, by Discord the library. And you can't really change this to anything else. This has to be on ready. This is a command that the code itself executes when it's online. So this is required before you can even write anything else uh, in this code at all or anything in the bot. So now everything under this uh, can be your commands or anything you want to add. So we're just going to create a simple command that says hello or hey when you uh, say hello to the bot. So we're going to do at client dot command command opening close in brackets now enter async def hello and then in brackets ctx enter await ctx not send and then this is what it's going to say back so when we say hello what it is going to say hey so we're kind of going to save that and we're going to run it again i'm going to wait for it to connect it's connected so now if we go here and go hello as you can see the bot responds with hey so it's very simple very very simple and just this many lines of code and you already have a bot that says hello uh, and everything else but well let's just say you want a bot to actually have custom messages like uh, you can write for example search and then cut space and then whatever you want it to uh, I'll show you an example let's say you want to do async actually we need to first uh, define that this is going to be a command client command dot client command open and close in brackets and now async uh, define and this is going to be let's say search and we're going to go open and close in brackets and inside those brackets we're going to go ctx 
CTX has to be in every one, every single one, and then I'm gonna use the star and then R, uh, A, R, G, and then that, and then enter. And for this, we're gonna have it um, <coughs> search for whatever you say. So because we're not actually gonna be creating a search one, we're just gonna create an example of what, uh, of what it could say when it's searching. So CTX dot send, and then in here, searching, Four, and then we can do squiggly brackets and then dot format and then inside of here arg or arg and this is actually the argument this is whatever you put in after search so I'll show you so let's click F5 hopefully no errors this time uh, bot online and now if we go into here and go search and then let's say dog searching for dog and that's how you get input and with this you can do more, much more complicated things so if you watched my recent video I am making a bot for my Minecraft server which looks for applications uh, of people from Google Drive and gives them re and returns them back to me in discord so you can do a lot of different things with this bot I hope that helped you maybe in second part I'll show you a bit more complicated things that you can do with this but this is just how easy it is to create a very a very simple bot that will respond to basic commands and you can add anything in like if you want to add normal Python things into here like print that is available uh, you can also do this but you do have to uh, keep in mind that print will only display in here it won't actually display that in uh, discord obviously for discord you need the ctx.send but yeah, anyway, my name is Zodrick Z. If you want anything else uh, about this Discord bot uh, in a video form, make sure to tell me in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to uh, make that in episode 2 or whatever episode or make it its own video. But yeah, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Goodbye.